Hello and welcome to Chemistry 161, Spring 2023 at Wimmer Community College. My name is Mike Ferguson, I'm your instructor. Uh, the purpose of the video is to orient you to the class and welcome you, of course. So I have the page in La Lima up here. And here is the course page, uh, overview tab. I'm going to upload this video right there. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about the course. Uh, if you see here on the on the lesson tabs, I have a due date so you know exactly when things are due. I'll, I'll write you and remind you, of course, but these are the due dates and you know what's what's due. So the first week, so let's talk about the first week. The first week is to register for lab flow. So uh, if you click on this link, and I have it through various throughout the, the different lessons as well, the you know, lab flow, and this is here. I, uh, I have my own uh, uh, account, so I can't really show you how to do that. But there are registration instructions right here. So which is, this tells you how to go and, and register. And uh, you can see pay later is recommended for this. This is not through the bookstore. This is through an external site. And it uh, gives you 14 days to, to look it over. So uh, and so and that's and that's how I'm going to register. I'm, I'm going to verify your attendance is, is by your registration for the class. And when you search for it, it's it's this class here, Wimmer Community College, Chem 161 Lab, Spring 2023, Ferguson. Uh, the course code is also six four zero two one. So that's um, that's in various uh, that that's with this course. So uh, here is the Lab Flow course right here. And you can notice that there are, well, there's uh, 13 labs and uh, the intros. So, and I have the due dates broken up here. So February 1st here, you have the, do the intro basic and separating the mixture. So I started off a little slow here. Uh, so uh, if you're in my lecture class, uh, that first section is going to go pretty quickly, so uh, you don't have to be in in this class with me, the with the lecture class, just for me. But I, I tailor it, of course, to my lecture class. Uh, so a little bit of a warning, though. The next month is going to be a little heavier, and uh, I'm doing this because I wanted to to match the uh, the course material, and then at the end of of February, uh, the, the the midterm for the lab. So uh, the uh, the midterm is is uh, where is it's right here. So and it also asks you to upload your work for it. So that's uh, with the midterm. And so and then you have the remainder of the semester. And uh, a bit to warn you about the general chemistry one class. It feels a bit like a sprint. So, uh, I mean, one of the issues with this class is, is that um, you're getting a new mental model very frequently. And uh, quite frankly, a lot of people in high school only get through the material that, I'm, that, that, are, that is in the first three weeks of the class. So it uh, depends on, on your high school program, of course, but many, many students, if you had a high school chemistry, you, you may just have, have had the first uh, three weeks of the class. So things move quickly. And uh, so, of course, I'm here to help. So, but yeah, the due dates are there. And uh, I have less control over this system. I, I guess you, many of you haven't had me before, but uh, this is uh, an external vendor and uh, they, um, it's pretty inexpensive. Uh, as as you'll find out, uh, but it's um, they they have I have considerable less control over uh, the due dates and whatnot than uh, other uh, things like like Pearson mastering. So uh, keep that in mind. Try to make the due dates as much as you can. And if you're in my lecture class, if you haven't missed a due date, I would miss the lecture due date over the lab due date. So. Uh, and there is a final exam for this class. Uh, it's it's due at the uh, on the end of finals week, and you can take it whenever you want. So, uh, but you just can't do it after that date. 
So uh, let me go over the syllabus. So I guess I should have started the syllabus. Oh, and uh, the grading. Um, so you're probably first thing you're thinking on, how do I get an A? Uh, there are 600 total points. So the each each quiz is um, is five points, and the lab reports are twenty five points, and then the remainder of the points are are uh, divvied up in the midterm and the final. So if you wonder how the point breakdown works, and then a ten point split for the the grades, then afterwards based off of your the, the points that you earn, and uh, you won't uh, also with this software you you won't. Um, know what your scores are until after the due date and I also have to grade the labs so uh, and I don't get access to them until after the due date so you won't know your grades until a little bit later so just just so you know and uh, so here's me although I've been talking I didn't I guess I didn't introduce myself here is me uh, so office hours Monday, Tuesday, 9 to 11.30 a.m. Uh, via, via Zoom. Uh, if you want to meet in person, uh, I'd prefer if we, we made a, an appointment. I mean, certainly and prefer, preferably for me during office hours. But I also want to know that you're coming so that I can make sure that I'm actually sitting in my office and not, you know, like uh, hanging out in the lab or doing something like that so that uh, I know that, that uh, we have a, a place to meet. So... Okay, and everything else uh, with this, I'd like to make the show you the student accommodations and academic support services. And uh, if you are in need of any of these, I highly recommend you use them. Uh, so, because if you don't get enough food, if you're not finding shelter, I mean, you're not going to do as well as you should in this class. And I want you to do well, and you want to do well, and uh, we both want you to succeed very far in life, and, and these things will help you. So, but I, uh, I'll revisit this quite a bit throughout the semester. So I hope you had a wonderful, relaxing break, and I wanted to keep this video short. Uh, but let me know if you have any issues, if you have any questions, and I am here to help. So, okay, goodbye for now. Aloha.